Hi, my name is Kristen Polis, and I'm a product line manager for Belden. And today, I'm going to show you how to terminate our new connector, RevConnect, onto shielded twisted pair cable. RevConnect is our reliable, easy, versatile solution for any RJ45 connection you need to make. And this installation video will cover all the steps you need for any shield determination, category 5E through 10GX jack, and even a 10GX shielded field mountable plug. If you'd like any more information on RevConnect, please click on any of the links below. Now for this termination, you're going to need your cable, and today we're using Belden's 10GX 62F cable. So this is a double jacketed cable, shielded cable. You'll also need your RevConnect modules, which again can either be a jack or a plug, and each module comes with what we call the core. This is the combination of a cable manager and a cap. The last thing you'll need is the RevConnect termination tool, which features a wire stripper and cross web cutter, the only thing you'll need to prep your cable. So any additional tools, such as a 110 punch down, RJ45 crimper, or flush cutters, not required. Okay, step one. Take your cable and strip off about four inches of cable. Now you're going to want to strip off some additional jacket than what you normally would for a UTP cable. And the reason for this is you want to leave enough exposed drain wire to wrap around the exposed foil. So once you've done that, the 10GX63F cable features a, a binder, which you'll have to remove. And you'll do that by unwinding it and then taking your cross web and guillotine cutter and just making a quick cut. Can also do that with the rip cord to just cut it right off. And with the shield that's left over, you do want to leave about a quarter inch of exposed foil so you can make a little nick with this RevConnect tool and then the rest will just peel right off. Now from here again, double jacketed design. So you're going to go once around one more time to take away that last little jacket. And from here, you can begin wrapping your drain wire. You want to get a few rotations around at least. That's why we stripped off the, the four inches. Uh, and again, one more rip cord to handle, and you're ready to deal with the pairs. So from here, as with the UTP, you separate into two groups. You have your blue-brown and your orange-green. Take your guillotine tool and cut your cross web. Again, you're going to want to do this as close to the jacket as you can to leave as little exposed, uh, little exposed cross web as possible. Now from here, you decide if you're doing a 568A or a 568B termination. Today we'll do 568B by aligning the brown pair and the orange pair up. If you were to be doing A, you would just switch the orange and the green pair. From here, you take your cable manager and you slot the brown and the orange pairs through the bottom of this cable manager. There are some markings on this manager in two holes. The brown pair goes into the, the hole that's across from the brown blot, and then the orange pair goes next to the orange-green blot. You'll slide this cable manager down the cable until it rests nicely onto the bottom where you've got your foil, and you wanna make sure that the blue and the green, these are your outside pairs, align properly into their respective channels. Sometimes you have to rotate, depending on which end of the cable you're terminating, you'll actually have to rotate the manager in order to get that blue pair and the green pair to align in the channel properly. And again, for more information, please do visit our website to ensure you have up close pictures of this termination. From here, it's a very easy termination. There is no pair separation. It is just a little bit of untwisting to get the white conductor to align on the outside. This means that Belden's bonded pair cable, which is what this 10GX62F is, terminates just as fast as non-bonded cable. You've got your white conductors aligned on the outside for all four pairs, and you grab your cap. This cap is outfitted with eight gold-plated contacts, snaps right onto the top, and you're ready to go to the tool. This tool allows you to terminate the cable with one crimp, all four cables are cut, and the eight, eight contacts are inserted into the wire. It's a gas-tight, highly reliable termination. And from here, you choose. Is it an RJ45 jack? You snap this right in, and you close the rear doors. So the rear doors are outfitted with grounding clips that, are, that allow for a 360-degree bond around that drain wire that you wrapped. 
If you want it to be an RJ45 plug, you just open the rear doors and you do that by squeezing these doors and pushing down on the pins to open the door. Once this is out, you take your RJ45 plug, snap that in, close the doors. The same clips are on the rear doors of the shielded plug and that forms a 360 degree bond. Now though this termination is different than anything you may have done in the past, practice and just a few times you'll see how truly reliable, easy and versatile this termination is. For more information, please visit info.belden.com slash RevConnect. Thank you for choosing Belden. Thank <laughs> you.